So uh, now we come to the, the, the horrifying next ayah, وَأَمَّا مَنْ خَفَّتْ مَوَازِينُهُ As for the ones whose scales are lightened. تَخْفِيف in Arabic, to lighten. And you know what's really cool about this? On the Day of Judgment, we want this huge burden of good deeds, right? But in this dunya, when Allah gives us ahkam, you know what He says? يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ لِيُخَفِّفَ عَنْكُمْ Allah intends to lighten your burden from you. In other words, when you follow Allah's commandments, life in this world becomes light. Light. You, life becomes easy and your scales are getting heavier in the Day of Judgment. The contrast between the two things in the Qur'an's language. وَالظَّهِرْ أَنَّ الْمُرَادِ بِهَا بِهَاوِيَةَ جَهَنَّمَ So he says, وَأَمَّا مَنْ خَفَتْ مَوَازِينُهُ فَأُمُّهُ هَاوِيَةَ And as for the one whose scales became lightened, the ayah ended, it didn't go straight to فَأُمُّهُ هَاوِيَةَ It stopped there because he wants you to think. As for the one whose scales became light, you stop there. You don't just go straight to فَأُمُّهُ هَاوِيَةَ لِيَدَّبَّرُوا آيَاتِ You reflect on every single ayah. You stop and reflect on it. And Allah Azza wa Jal adds, now He teaches, He says, فَأُمُّهُ هَاوِيَةَ Both words, very very powerful. The word هَاوِيَةَ first, we'll come to um, which is even scarier second, we'll come to هَاوِيَةَ first. The word هَاوِيَةَ in Arabic comes from هُوَ, which actually means to fall into a steep canyon. And it's usually used for a hawk or a bird of prey that sees an animal way down at the bottom of the valley, and what does it do? It dives down at full speed. It's faster than even falling. When you're falling down, all you have to your advantage is gravity. But the bird is even forcing itself to launch itself further down, way, way deep into the valley to snatch its prey. That's what it's trying to do. In Arabic idiom, you know, uh, actually I'll, t- I'll tell you the idiom at the end. The word Hawiyah is referred to by Imam Madhari rahimahullah. He says that this is a canyon in hellfire so deep that only Allah knows its depth. So first of all, the location is such, and the one falling in it, or the one going to Havia is what? Endlessly just falling way, 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 way down. That's described just in the word Havia. But then we find this really interesting expression of the Arabs. They would say for somebody who's having a really, really hard time, or they're like, uh, uh, they're in, in, on, in a horrible, horrible calamity, they would say, huwat ummuhu. Same verb is used, Havia, huwat ummuhu. What that means is, his mother fell off a cliff into a deep canyon. They don't really mean his mother fell off a cliff. They're saying, man, you're looking like your mother fell off a cliff. But she dove right in. This, that's how you look. You look that depressed, you look that disturbed. Now, both words are used in the ayah, but the arrangement is changed. So Allah took the expression of the Arabs, but did something new with it. And this is again a feature of the Qur'an. فَأُمُّهُ هَاوِيَةَ Then his mother, I'm translating literally, his mother is the deep canyon in hellfire. His mother is that deep canyon in hell. Okay. What does it mean, his mother? Ummu. We learn a few things from that. First of all, a child, it runs to its mother. And whether you like it or not, if the, if the person is headed for hellfire, they will run towards it, whether they want to or not. Who wants to run to hellfire? Nobody. A child, you don't have to tell them to want to run to their mother, they naturally run to their mother. But on the Day of Judgment, your body will rebel against you, no matter how much you want to run away from it. وَيَصْلَى you know, uh, First he will say, give me death, don't take me there, and then he'll throw himself in. He'll go himself, jump in himself, because he can't even help himself at this point. Just like a child can't help himself run towards its mother. The other benefit of the word ummuhu here is, a mother wraps its child around, and protects it, and doesn't let it go. It's the sense of motherhood that she has. And also a mother, when she's carrying the baby, the child is inside and he can't come out. He's inside. And you know what this implies? The, this, this, the, the mother for this person, the role of mother, the hellfire is going to hug him and not let him go. And be very protective and owner, you know, owning of him. Not, let, not release him. And he's trapped in it like a child trapped in the womb of the mother. SubhanAllah. فَأُمُّهُ هَاوِيَةَ It's a, such a powerful rendition of uh, the phrase. Then he says, وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا هِيَةَ 